Hi. Fun, fun, fun. What's up? Hey, just taking the door off, you know. Just another, another morning in the RV park. had an issue with our, uh, I came out this morning and had my coffee in my hand. <sighs> I had uh, my chair out, gonna sit down and have a nice cup of coffee out by the beach and uh, the door wouldn't open, completely um, jammed. So I had to crawl out the driver's side and try to unlock it from the outside and. That wouldn't work, so Charity had to unscrew this just to get us out of the door. So the thing about owning your own RV is if you are somewhat handy, sometimes you can fix some of the stuff yourself and save a lot of money. So you don't have to be a super handy man. I'm not handy by any means, but I was able to fix the toilet. Okay, so we figured out the issue. Um, <laughs> Watch out for that. So we found out the issue. So there's this um, actuator that is installed inside the door. And it, what it was doing is it was locked up, completely jammed up. So it was causing um, us to not be able to um, unlock and lock. Driving on the beach. This is kind of cool. It is we're, cool. We're four buying on the beach. We're not four buying. Yeah, we're still pretty on two-wheel drive. Well, not for long. Daytona Beach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach. Another beautiful beach. And it's really not that crowded. I mean, we are here in the evening. They're going to be closing the beach for cars soon. So it might be more crowded during the day. But right now, it's just really peaceful. Not a lot of people. Now the sun's in my eyes. You can see my son kiss Tan. <laughs> For the last four days, we have been staying here at Flagler by the Sea, which is just right off of the A1A highway here in Flagler Beach, Florida. We have absolutely loved this campsite. And let me show you the reason why we have really enjoyed this site. Follow me. Just about 20 steps away is the beach. I'm not sure if you can hear that just yet, but you can hear the waves crashing against the shore. And even as we're falling asleep in the back of our rig, which is just right here, <laughs> and the beach is just right here. Let me show you. See the gorgeous, gorgeous beach right behind me here. Again, we can hear the waves crashing on the shore as we're going to sleep at night. It's just an absolute beautiful, beautiful spot to be at. The weather here has been perfect. It hasn't really been too super hot. And again, if you get a little warm, you just jump in right there. Right where I'm standing is, is wonderful. The beach right here, we've been here for the last three days. And the whole time we have been here, there have maybe been three to four people on the beach with us. It's a private beach for this campground. So there's very few people that have been out there with us every single day. So we've had the beach almost completely to ourselves. Another thing that I really love about this particular campground is there is a freshwater rinse. I'll show you right now. Water hose rinse to be able to just spray off after hanging out down at the beach during the day. 
there have been a lot of people that have been fishing and they have this nice little outside kitchen area where you can clean your fish, um, take them right back to your campsite and cook your fish if that's kind of your thing with fishing in the ocean. But we've just really enjoyed hanging out. The kids have been boogie boarding. They are exhausted right now, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And um, I can't say enough positive about this particular campground. One of the fun things about just the RV life is being able to travel around and meet up with maybe friends that live in other parts of the country, which is kind of what we're doing today. But the cool thing about these particular folks that um, have been friends of ours for a little while is that they work with a monster truck company. So we are going to get the opportunity to check out some monster trucks up close and personal. Hey! How are you? Good, how are you doing? So first thing, this is our display trailer. Okay. We keep our show monster truck and our show dragster in there. Doing some CrossFit. <laughs> That's Shane in the trailer over there. This is how they load the tires. Race it, break it, fix it, repeat. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> the pieces of the fiberglass. I think I could fit a couple of those on the RV <laughs> instead of the dualies. You might not that. clear the bridges and stuff though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so what's its company name? Here? Raisin Cane Monster Trucks. Raising Cane. Mm -hmm. Raisin Cane was our first truck. Okay. This is insane. So you're in. I'm in. Alright. They can fail. I've seen shocks break off and this whole shaft go through floorboards. I mean, wow. Through the front under the truck. I've seen these shafts do a complete U. Rip off the truck. El Toro Loco. Back right there, you can see the Gravedigger hood. Yeah. Oh, nice. That is so cool. Yeah. So wait a second, there's, some, there's something in Yeah, there. there's some stuff in there. There's a Raisin Cane photograph too that JR signed for you guys. <gasps> wow. Oh, With the hookup. <laughs> So that was pretty amazing being able to see some of these trucks up close. Um, definitely just the way that these things are built, boy, they're built tough, but they're also super, super highly customized, which just gives you a whole new level of respect for the crews that actually build these things from scratch. And then of course the drivers that drive them. Yeah. 